Hi, it's David Golly from Pentagon Solutions, and we're having a look at Revit Architecture 2009. And I want to have a look at a feature um, which is creating a custom roof. So rather than use the traditional roof command, what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at modeling, and we're going to have a look at the create uh, family category and parameters. And this is a great tool if you want to create a um, family on the fly within the actual Revit file itself. We're also going to demonstrate in this one of the new solid modeling tools uh, available in Revit Architecture 2009. That's the um, Sweat Blend. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick roofs from the list. I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to call this my custom roof. And um, you can see in here from my solid form that we've got now I got a solid form sweat blend. So I'm going to pick this solid sweat blend and we're going to do a curved roof going to a um, flat or to a straight roof. So if we have a look at this, I'm going to actually pick my path. So I'm going to have my path defined by the actual length of the building. Now I could extend that for an overhang. But now I'm going to finish my path off, and you'll notice that I've got two profiles here. So I'm going to go to my East View, and I'm going to go to Profile 1. And I'm just going to do it by sketch, so I'm going to hit Edit. And at this part, this is where I'm going to use my curved roof. I'm going to offset it, say, to 500mm. I'm going to give it a good thickness. I'm going to go back into my Line Tools, make sure I take my offset off. And so I'm going to put my facing on there. And again, I'll just close that off perpendicular. So that's my profile one. When I finish the profile, and then I go to my profile two, which will be picked up at the opposite end. Again, I go to edit my sketch. And this time I'm going to say, well, look, let's keep this. We're not going to have an arc. I'm going to have a pitch in here, but it's going to be straight with no curve. Again, I'm going to go to my lines. I'm going to go offset and say, look, let's make this 250mm. Pick it. Pick my offset. Go back to my draw tools. Take my offset off. So not only do I have the shapes changing um, between the two profiles, but I've also actually got the thickness of the roof changing. So if I finish the profile, finish the swept blend, and finish the family, you'll get to see my custom roof component. Obviously this means that I can tab over my walls and attach these actual components up and I'll hook in. So there I've got my sweat blend. Another point that you might notice, if I look at um, my east elevation, that you can't see my far clip plane going back. But if I right click here and go into view properties, you'll see that we have clip without line. So we can go in here, we can say let's clip with the line, hit OK. You'll see this clip line will actually come in. So there's a couple tips from uh, David Golly here in Pentagon Solutions. Um, thanks very much.